Hello everyone! Today I'll channel about a new star seed origin called the Procyons. This is not a very well known star seed, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. There is one thing though. When I do channeling, please don't ask me about logical explanation. Channeling is supposed to break the boundaries of logic and physical lim limitation of this dimension. As this dimension we are in have many limitations, including our own languages. I'll explain this in another video, so let's get started with Procyon. Procyon is the brightest star in the constellation of Canis Minor, and apparently it's close to Sirius and Orion, at least according to this picture. Procyon's civilization is full of shining light, blue, and white light. It revolves around light blue suns, or white suns. Even the atmosphere and the light rays consist of many white blues and dazzling white. It's a bit different than the angelic white you see and feel though. The white in Procyon is a burning rising light full of optimism and passion. Whereas the angelic light is more calm and peaceful love. Procyons are 12 dimensional creator beings. They recognize themselves as true creators and are conscious creators of realms and realities. So they are very high level beings in compared to many other star races we covered. They are located in the north side of the universe. Why you ask? because they are the embodiment of all positivities. The term north, moving forward, front, straight, it's all associated with positivity. They are very straightforward beings and they are the epitome of bright yang masculine energies. So how old are they? They are not bound by age. Procyon is a heavenly realm and they are immortal. They represent life itself, so their lifespan is inf infinite, only until they decide to drop out and incarnate somewhere else. This is how the system of universes should work. We should have the free will to decide when we can drop out and go somewhere else or return home. Procyon's civilization consists of very advanced sun technologies as they are connected to the sun. All of their technologies are connected directly to the sun and they are very spiritual. It's not like on earth, where oftentimes technologies are misused. The coolest thing I saw is they have floating oval shaped architectures or realms above the atmosphere of their planet, where many of them stay there to practice martial arts and manifest things. Wow connecting closer to the sun or doing sunbathing. The sun invigorates them and empowers them with passion and love. It makes them hyper positive and hyper active. It's quite similar to Superman, but it's not a burning temperature thing or overheat because they don't feel heat or hot in the way we do. I promise you won't burn yourself when you directly confront a Procyon. To explain it simply, our consciousness levels and vibrational levels are low and we are in a physical limited realm where we get hurt and die easily. So that's why we are not capable of what many other beings can do. Procyon starseeds are very rare on earth factoring less than 0.0001% in the starseed group. Very rare. They don't incarnate on earth much as they greatly dislike negativity and avoid them as much as possible. So if you encounter them, you're very lucky. Here are the traits and personalities of Procyon starseeds. See if any of them resonate with you. You could be one too. Procyon starseeds have a strong balance of wanting their own space to enjoy their own presence of their own core energy, also their soul. But they also value unity. 
and forming communities, finding like-minded people. Procyons enjoy martial arts, and to them, martial arts are for self-empowerment, mainly strengthening their vitality and raising their vibration. It is not really about harsh competition and self-defense like on Earth. Martial art is an art. It raises our vibrations, frequencies, and vitalities. This can be very simple qigong and tai chi. Procyons are passionate about new possibilities, breaking old limitations and beliefs, and creating and innovating something new. They are aware consciously and are more used to the concept of creation and manifestation. Procyon star seeds are very drawn to white colors and bright light. They are very drawn to snowy places with sunlight. It's not like they are particularly good with the cold, but they just like the color white, so they like snowy fields. Their favorite scenery is white shining sunlight, adding snowy fields full of white and light. Therefore, they can be drawn to Scandinavian countries and even places like Greenland and Alaska. Procyon star seeds are full of enthusiasm and ambition. They can be childlike in that sense, as they are full of energy, passion, and optimism, and they love everything with a positive mindset. Unlike here on Earth, they prefer to work with optimism and positivity through praises instead of through fear, and they are very free-spirited people. They are also very spiritual, and many of them end up becoming monks. They love moving their bodies. Procyon represents positive masculine yang energy, so I actually expected more of them to incarnate as males. But when you round up the data that was shown, 50% chose to incarnate in a male body, and 50% chose to incarnate in a female body, which is insane. These souls have very straightforward mindset with great optimism. That they are very idealistic people to be with. Now I'm gonna talk about a little bit of the history of Procyon, as they do have some wars and conflicts. Procyon, like the Lyrans, made the same mistake of easily accepting outsiders, involving them into wars. What I was shown was that it has to do with technological trades between races. Then there is cultural invasion. To explain it, first the other race, the opposing race, enter in friendly terms to pro provide trades of technologies and inventions. Since Procyons are generally curious learners and loves technology, they slowly accept them into their own space and allow them into their group. That's how the opposing force. Slowly overtake them and replace their mottos, beliefs, and values, etc. And that's how the Procyon experience great internal conflicts and civil wars. They may have to learn from the speakers to strictly safeguard their space and energy and not allowing negative changes. If you want to know what I meant about that, check out the video about speakers. I have two videos about them. One is the speaking star seed, and one is their collective trauma. Now, who are these negative beings that cause so many problems for the Procyons? I won't really mention it as I don't have the intention to scapegoat one race. Now, let's talk about the agenda or purpose of Procyons. Procyons' main purpose is creating heaven in this universe and expanding their homes. They are like the epitome of Yang masculine. You see, the negative masculine wants to control and conquer and enslave others. The Procyon does the opposite. They conquer the universe with light. They only want to be seen through their enthusiasm and passion. They want to enlarge and expand themselves, their own essence beyond limits and possibilities, as they love everything they do. They conquer the world with love. Here are some struggles Procyon star seeds can face when they incarnate on Earth. They are very sensitive 
to negativity and darkness as they are not used to it. They can be easily triggered and affected by them. You know, it's very interesting because light and dark are actually weak to each other. I used to play a lot of video games and when it comes to elemental weaknesses in RPGs and in video games, light and dark are vulnerable to each other. This applies to many of the star races and also the Procyons as they greatly dislike negativity. But in reality, the Matrix is very cunning and you end up becoming what you hate the most. Hate is a strong manifesting emotion. And to conquer this emotion, I recommend Procyons on Earth to practice mindfulness, to find inner peace and calmness, find neutrality in this polarity space. Calm your excited mind, as they can be very exhausting. Also, practice martial arts, which strengthen your vitality and psychic defenses. Procyon represents positive spiritual masculine energy. However, with today's constant demonizing of masculinity and the yang energy, calling it toxic, Procyons find them greatly uncomfortable. Many Procyon star seed will fall into the trap of self-condemnation. Do not fall for this trap and let anyone take away your sovereignty and power. This is part of the negative agenda they impose into us to keep us vulnerable and weak, to keep us divided. Do not let anyone else judge you. Do not let their darkness overtake you or consume you. Finally, Procyon Starseed's purpose on Earth is to focus on their self-healing journey, finding oneself, experiencing and learning the polarity aspect of self while continuing to do what they are passionate about. As long as they remain positive and bright, their light shines like diamonds and they energetically raise the frequencies of the surroundings. That's why Procyon Starseed should mainly focus on self-development. Thank you for watching this video. I offer Akashic Records reading and Akashic Clearing session. If you would like to find out your origin or your story, feel free to book a session with me. I'll leave the link in the description below. Subscribe to my channel, please like and share this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love and peace.